So I asked in my last This Just In video if you guys were sort of tired of seeing these, because um, I've noticed views have been down, you guys don't seem to be liking them as much, at least based on the like like ratio, like to dislike ratio. Um, the majority of you said you guys still wanna see these, and there are a few of you that said um, you don't find them that helpful because they're not really reviews of anything, I'm just showing you stuff, which is totally valid and I get it. So I'm going to be, I'm gonna to continue to do them because a lot of you, the majority of you said you want to keep seeing these. Um, but I'm going to try to work ways of using the products and then doing reviews like throughout the month. So that's my goal. I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best. <laughs> so um, this is September's This Just In. Um, it's everything that's come um, since my last video up until today, which is uh, October 3rd. And this month I'm actually doing a no buy with my friend Valeria, who is Conscious Bee. And if you're not subscribed to her channel and following her on Instagram, make sure to do that. Um, but me and her are doing a no buy. So this might look significantly less next month, at least depending on how much PR I get. I'm, I'm expecting one package today, which I'm not going to include in this. Um, I don't want to wait that long. And then I don't really know what else is going on this month PR wise. I know Live Botanical is re-releasing their stuff in new packaging and um, I don't know what else is going on. So this might look pretty light next month. This is actually pretty light this month too. So this video might not take super long to get through. It can't anyway, because I have until 1035 because I have to go pick my kid up from preschool. <laughs> so let's get started, right? Okay, so I'm going to leave the link for my Josh Rosebrook Beauty Heroes video, go check that out. I'm, I don't have it here, so I'm not gonna just show it to you again, but if you are unaware of what came in the Beauty Heroes box, it was the new Josh Rosebrook Hydration Boost Concentrate. That's still available, go check it out if you want. Uh, subscribe if you want, but yeah, I'll put the I'll put the video up there if you haven't watched it yet. And then um, I also mentioned in that video, which I do have here, so I am gonna show. <laughs> um, InnerSense is their limited discovery from last month. I think they released it on the 21st. But this came in the mail, so I figured I would show it again. Um, but it's their hair bath, their conditioner, and their leave-in conditioner spray um, in either the pure or the hydrating line. So go check out that video, check out those things if you're interested. Other things subscription box wise, the new Skylar scent is here. The salt, uh, the, the October scent is fall cashmere, which is spiced, creamy, and luscious <clears throat> with caramelized vanilla, roasted almond, and spiced ginger. I really, really love this. Um, also, if you haven't watched my Skylar video, I'm also gonna link that, so go check that out. That video needs some love. It's only got like 250 views, and like I get not everybody's into perfume, but at least go leave it a like. Make me feel better. <laughs> so yeah, that's the new Skylar scent. I really love this. If you wanna hear my description of it, go watch that video. Um, so yes, what uh, other things subscription box wise? The Perlesque box, which I believe there are two days left. So I've got the Perlesque box here which I didn't untape before I came in, which was a dumb idea. Um, but yeah, that one has got two days left to subscribe to if you want. Um, it's the brand EIR. I don't know if it's Air or whatever it is, but it's um, EIR NYC. So there's the Face Rescue in the two ounce size, which is their oil. I obviously haven't used these. Um, then there's the Fresh Air, which is an odor eliminator, sand hand sanitizer, deodorizer. Um, so that comes in there as well. And then there is the um, Hydration Hero, which I think is like a solid face serum. So if you like that brand, if those are products that you've been wanting to try, that is available from Perlesque. And I believe that's all I've got subscription box wise. Box Wallet is closed, but I'll leave the link um, for Box Wallet just in case. Sometimes she extends the deadline. And then this one, if you also haven't checked out the Best of a Green Beauty from the Detox Market, this came in the mail last month. Um, as far as Best of Green Beauty boxes from Detox Market, one, I'm surprised they released it so early. I don't know if they were just trying to like get it out before the holidays so they could, I don't know, in case you wanna buy it as a holiday gift, I don't really know, but as far as selection goes, I was sort of like 50-50 with this. There's some good stuff in here, but then there's other things that I was just like, what, how, how did this get in here? <laughs> but yeah, if you are interested in that, go check out my video and I'll leave the link to that on the detox market down below. 
So Fitglo had some releases last month. I did film a video for these that I think I'm just gonna delete and refilm because it was sort of a casual get ready with me that I ended up complaining a lot in and saying some things that probably would get me in trouble. I don't know. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna delete it and redo it. But <laughs> since I haven't posted that yet, there are two new lip serums that came out um, in the shades Bare and Gleam. I am wearing Bare right now, which is just sort of like a nude color. And then I was wearing Gleam in the video that I'm talking about that I'm gonna delete. So anyway, if you are interested in some like sort of nude shades from Fit Glow, you know what? It would be helpful if I gave you swatches, right? So this one is Gleam and then this one is bare. So they're both like sheer, just sort of like nude colors. This one's more of like nude nude. This one is more like your lips, but better nude. I don't know, I like them both. I think they're both really pretty. And then at the same time, they also released the Glam palette, which is a new eyeshadow palette that also contains a highlighter. So they do already have two different eye palettes, the day and the night. Um, that each contain a blush, but this is the new like glam palette. So if you're into like more dark smoky looks, this would be great for you. My highlighter is cracked. I dropped it on the floor. Um, the, the powders are pretty fragile. I've noticed um, I have the same issue with my Fit Glow Rose blush. That's like sort of cracking too. The, the powders are very fragile, which I mean, I guess shows you how natural it is, but I don't know, just be careful if you do get these, but I love these colors. So I will be doing um, a video on those soon. I've been meaning to do it, but you know, you know how it is. So that's the new Fit Glow stuff. They actually just sent me a new product as well um, that I'm not including in here just because I don't know when it's releasing. I don't know the details on it, but there is gonna be another Fit Glow skincare product releasing soon. So, um, Edible Beauty sent me their new makeup remover puffs. So these are to be used with the oil cleanser. And um, so they have one side for the oil cleanse, which would be this side. And then when you flip it around, you use the other side for the cream cleanse. So the fluffier side for the cream cleanse. So it's um, double cleansing, which is nothing that we are, um, you know, unfamiliar with, but those are cute. I have been playing around with their new makeup remover, so I will be talking about that at some point. So let's see. So this new company sent me some stuff. If I can get it open. Oh, and there's like all this frilly stuff in here. Ugh. Okay, so this company is called Look. I think, um, but they sent me their line. So they have a Restore Moisturizer. There's the company. They have a serum. They have a toner. And then they have a Purify. This is a powder cleanser. So go check out those. These are pretty cool because um, they're you know minimal ingredients. The ingredients all look really great. I'm pretty excited to give these a try. Um, so that's a new brand that sort of like messaged me recently. And their products are all pretty affordable too, which is also nice. I'm always looking for like affordable options because um, I know a lot of you guys ask for affordable options. So then Natural Logic sent me a package. Ooh, this leaked a little. Um, so she's coming out with a new body polish. This is the Cardamom Coffee. So if you guys don't know, I am um, completely obsessed with her other body polish, which I think is cacao. I forget what, but it smells like German chocolate to me. I love that one. This one is if you're more into like coffee scrubs. And I believe I just leaked it on my floor, but I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, I, I love her other body polish. I expect no different from this one. So I'm really excited to give that one a try. And then I got a refill of the Ancient Earth Dual Action Micro Exfoliant. I love this stuff. It sort of has like a micro physical exfoliant as well as like a chemical exfoliant. Plus it's like fluffy and delicious. I love that. And then she's also releasing a new product. I don't know when, I need to ask her, um, but it's an eye serum. So this is the Eternal Eyes. 
um, firm and brighten eye serum. She just sent me a little baby. At least I think this is the baby. I don't think this is the full size. It's only five mil, but it does come in a roller, which is exciting. I don't, I really don't like eye serums except in roller form. So I'm excited to give that a try. That's new from Natural Logic. Check all that out. I do believe she's also working on some other new stuff like serums and I want to say she told me another body product, but I could be wrong. But then I ordered some brushes. I was on I think what, what what happened? I saw that EcoTools had like released some new brushes and I went and uh, bought them because I can't help myself. So they released three new of these sort of like crystal trios. Um, there's the Amethyst Trio, which is the, it's um, exclusive wellness trio for a crystal clear base. So this comes with the angled foundation brush, which is this one. And then it comes with the medium powder brush. I love the Eco Tool brushes. They're affordable and I loved the like handles on these. They're like super cute. So this one is the uh, Wellness Trio for Luminous Glossy Finish. So there's the Buffing Bronzer, which I think is this one. And then there's the Gleaming Highlighter Brush. And then the third one is the Rose Quartz um, for Clear Cut Finishing Details. And this one contains the all over detail brush and the pointed brush, which I think this is the detail brush and this is the pointed brush. And they each come with like a little keychain. Yeah. And then Ulta was doing like buy one, get one free or 50% off, I want to say. So then I picked up one other one just to, you know, get the deal. This is the custom match duo. It's to customize your perfect shade. So it comes with two different brushes. It comes with the two different foundation brushes. One is like more of a flat style and one is more of like a buffing style. And then it comes with a little tray that you can like mix, mix and customize. So, I mean, I do that sometimes. I mix and customize my foundation shades. Okay, so then staying on the makeup theme, Erin's Faces recently came out with a new concealer. I hadn't tried anything from Erin's Faces ever before. They used to send me like emails all the time and I just wasn't interested in anything um, until they came out with their new concealer, which I think is pretty awesome. So this is the Radiant Firming Concealer. It actually comes in a glass bottle, which is, that's, it's the only, the only concealer I have in a glass bottle. I mean, there's glass pots, but not glass, you know, like doe foot applicators. So this is the shade Magnolia, which is their light shade. So I'm excited to play with that. So let's give you some information on it. Um, it's got hyaluronic acid in it. It's got coffee bean extract, green tea, tamanu oil, and then brightening pigments, pigments um, to give radiance and luminosity. It's got five shades. So obviously they could, um, um, they could do with more shades. Five shades is not that many, but it's a start and then it's $25. So not too bad either. So I'm excited to give that a try and let you guys know um, how I feel about that, if I think it's good. And then you guys know I'm on the hunt for a new deodorant. So this company had actually reached out to me and wanted to send me theirs. So since I'm on the hunt, usually I say no, but since I'm on the hunt for a new one, I decided to go ahead and say yes. This one is the Spruce Naturals and it's, um, it does have baking soda in it um, and coconut oil. It's vegan. So this is in the shade English Lavender. So that'll be making its way into my ongoing deodorant testing. I'm on deodorant three of now seven, I think. So I got a refill of my favorite Pacifica Stunning Brows. I think I'm just about done with my second one and then I have a new one. I love that stuff, I use it all the time. It's perfect for my eyebrows. And then Nini Organic sent me their new Glow Illuminator. This is the one that's, um, I believe it's a collab with a makeup artist. This one is the pink, sort of more like rose gold one where the original glow illuminator is um, uh, like a gold. So, ooh. I usually like to mix this in with like my SPF or in with my liquid foundations because I love the way it makes my skin like glow. I do believe he just batched his last batch of this. So if you want it, um, definitely pick it up before he runs out because I don't think he's making any more. But the, the original Glow Illuminator is also really amazing. I use that all the time. 
um, just excited about the uh, <laughs> just excited about the new the new one because I love I love that. So I did also pick up the Audacite, the new Audacite Bioactive Rose Gommage because I was thinking about doing a video where I compare this to like the Iuna Essence, um, which I think I'm going to do this month. So um, it's a little bit different and it's, you know, a lot more affordable, but does it work the same? Does it give the same results? We'll find out. So there's that. And then here is the, you sort of like pump it out. So it is nice and hygienic. You just like pump it out. You don't have to stick your fingers in or anything, which is nice. And then it did come with a little brush. A brush to use it with. So that's from Audacite. We don't actually have that much more. I'm almost done. Did order some more stuff from Lively, um, which I think I talked about in my last video, or maybe it was two videos before, but um, I ordered a few more bras and some more underwear because I love, I love this stuff from Lively. I think what I'm gonna do for my clothing video in October is just the Lively, I do like a Lively review. They're not so much ethical, um, but they are the most comfortable underwear and bras that I own and I wanna talk about them. So I don't know, I don't even know if they're like not considered ethical. I know it's like woman owned and they're, they have their own factories and they pay their workers a fair wage and like all that. So, I mean, that stuff is important too. I really love the Lively stuff. So this one is a Bandu. It was a, it was a collab with, I believe, Madewell. So I got this, it's a um, wireless strapless bra and then here were the matching underwears which are kind of scandalous <laughs> they have like see-through see-through back and then i did pick up three more of the lace underwears because i loved these so i got the nude i got like navy and then i got black because that's my favorite style of the ones that i've tried and then i did pick up another one of these um this style bra but in black because this is super super comfortable so i'll go over all that when i do um my lively video which like i said i think i'm going to do this month for my clothing my clothing video because i haven't i don't really have anything else that i would want to do it on at the moment um, so yeah, I think I want to talk about those. So then we have a couple of makeup things and then we're done. This is going to be a pretty short this just in, which is surprising. So I did tell you guys that I ordered the other Ilia palette and it came in the mail. So this is the cool nude palette. So if you like purples, um, this is the one that you're going to like. So yeah, I'm excited to play around with those. As you can see, I swatched that one. <laughs> Super pretty. I love the colors on those. Very flattering. Very excited to play. And then Aether Beauty came out with their new palette. So it's another purple amethyst crystal gemstone palette. So she now has four palettes. And I've used the other three on my channel quite a bit, actually. So here is, here's this one. Lots of pretty colors. Really excited to play with this one again. I love, I just, I love these. I love the Aether Beauty palettes. They're all just so well done. I love the colors. So you'll be seeing some purple eye looks soon. And then in that last video, I did say I bought a couple of things from Bite um, that they didn't send me in PR. I did go ahead and buy the last of the Agave. It's the nighttime lip treatment. It did melt on me. So it's not, it doesn't look exactly like it would if you bought it now, but I'm sure it works, you know, just the same. It's just not that like whipped, you know, fluffy consistency that they make it in but that's okay. And then I did buy the other lip stain in Orange Fizz, which let's try to swatch real quick. So it's this sort of like orange color. So and like I said in that other video, Bite isn't natural. Um, they do have some nice ingredients in them, but they're definitely not, you know, what most people would consider like super clean, but I want to commend Bite because they're going to be releasing all new vegan formulas next year. They're switching their entire line to vegan. So right now what they're actually doing is they've got 50% off of their, their like matte cream lips, lip pencil thingies. And then their Amouge Boost lipsticks are 50% off because they're trying to clear out. So in January, 2020, everything from Bite will be vegan, which I think is great to see like a big mainstream company going completely vegan, even if it's not clean and natural and like what most people would consider. Um, I still want to commend them for going entirely vegan. I think that's, I think that's awesome. 
So I'm pretty excited about that. And then the last thing that I've got is Kosas. So Kosas release, released, Kosas released their new high intensity blushes. And I did ask for some of these to play with, but they actually sent me their not high intensity blushes the first time around. Um, so they had to resend me the package. So they sent me um, some in the beginning that weren't the high intensity blushes and then they resent the high intensity blushes. So I thought I would just show you the difference between um, one of them and um, the like originals and the high intensity blushes. These are also now vegan, they used to not be, which again, I find so exciting when brands go more vegan. They do have dyes in them, but um, I confirmed with them, at least they told me they're all vegan, I hope that they didn't lie to me. Okay, so we're gonna do papaya <clears throat> 1972. So they have two different versions. They've got their original original formula version and then they've got the high intensity version. So the high intensity version are supposed to be better for like people of color because they'll show up more on like deeper colored skin tones. Um, but I think that, you know, even people who've got fair skin and like other skin tones can use them as well if they want something that's more of like a, a deeper intensity color. But they're supposed to be great um, for those who do have deeper, deeper skin tones, which I think is fabulous. I believe they had a lot of people um, who use the originals say that they didn't show up on deeper skin tones and then they like reformulated so that they would show up on deeper skin tones. I believe that's the story. If it is, I think it's great that there's a company that like listens to, you know, listens to customers' concerns. So I'm gonna swatch um, each of these. They do come in cream formulas and powder formulas. This specific one is um, powder formula. Um, and they each come with like a blush and sort of like a highlight. So let's try to show you this. So these, oh God, I hate doing swatches. I'm so bad at it. So the top two are the original formula. So there's the blush and the highlighter. And then these are the, these ones over here are the high intensity. So the blush and the highlighter in the high intensity formula. Like I said, again, I'll be doing more um, videos on these and like all the things that are in here. So that way I can better show you and not with these ridiculous swatches that I did in an area that make no sense. I need to just start doing them like here. I need to stop trying to do them here because you can't turn your arm that way. <laughs> you know this, Danielle. But yeah, that's actually everything that I've got that came in the month of September. So it was actually pretty light, pretty light, um, you know, purchases and PR wise. Did I even tell you what I bought versus what I didn't? So I bought all the Lively stuff. I bought all the Eco Tools brushes. I bought, you know, the Bite stuff. I bought both of these palettes. Um, I bought the Audacite and then the Fit Glow stuff was PR, the Detox Market was PR, that Look brand was PR, Natural Logic was PR, um, Nini Organics, Skylar, Beauty Heroes, all that was PR. So, I mean, it's pretty much half and half today. I didn't do too bad, I don't think. Some, there are some months when I go a little crazy, but I don't think I did too bad last month. And this month will be even better because, um, all I'll be getting is PR if I get anything. I won't be getting um, nothing that I bought because I'm on a no buy, which is new for me. I've never done one of those. So we're actually under the half an hour mark, which is pretty, pretty exciting. So I need to uh, get this edited, get this up, and then uh, go get my kid in uh, half an hour. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you're the most excited about seeing reviews on so I can sort of get started working on those first before anything else. Um, if you just want to see all of it. I will get started working on all of it, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one.